Wilson just called me. His car got hit a couple of weeks ago, like at midnight on the side of the street. And somebody completely hit the car that was behind him and his. They didn't stop, they kept driving. And then they actually came back to kind of see the damage. But like their whole front headlight was completely all over the street. The front side of their car was completely destroyed. And when they came back, I was able to get the license plate. So the insurance just got in touch with them and they said they'd pay for everything. But man. Crazy. As y'all have seen, my car got hit, his car got hit. It's wild out here. I'm watching this big Alcaraz versus Vera match. The quarterfinals of the Madrid Open. I am not the best at folding laundry, so don't make fun of me. I'm not a perfectionist. Just needs to be folded a little bit, nothing fancy. I really love being able to follow my own schedule throughout the day, no matter what day it is. If it's a Wednesday, if it's a Friday. I think that's one of the biggest perks of being self-employed and trying to do your own thing. During COVID, I was working for NYU, and that was my first time ever working from home. And the experience, even though you know COVID was not fun at all, and I had a hard time. The experience of working from home kind of changed my idea on how I see life and also changed my aspirations, what I wanted out of a career. I was never someone who always knew what they wanted to do. I've always had a lot of different interests and that kind of made it hard once I got to college and had to decide what I wanted to major in. So when I had that experience working from home, a lot of us, like y'all, probably went through the same thing. We realized that so much time is wasted. Like. So much time is wasted when we're working a nine to five in the office. How many times have you been sitting in your office or sitting at your desk and kind of just like not doing anything or just browsing on your phone or just looking up random things on the internet? I'm so much more productive when I'm given like freedom to go about my day how I want to. I can't fold shirts for the life of me. I think humans are a lot more productive when we have freedom to kind of work on our own schedules. The whole work culture in the United States is just getting really old. For a while there, it looked like people actually would be able to stay working from home or do this hybrid thing. And I think a lot of people have, but a lot of companies are making people come back to the office or they're getting fired or laid off. It's just not sustainable. That's not gonna last. Work culture in the United States and around the world is changing. People want more of a work-life balance. I realized I didn't want to be working on someone else's clock and depending on them for everything. The scary part about being self-employed or trying to have your own business is that you're never really certain it's gonna work out. One year it could be really great, the next year it could be really hard. I think the spontaneity of it and how unpredictable it is is kind of appealing to me just because it keeps you on your toes. You constantly have to be trying new things, looking for new ways to make money. It's a little bit more challenging for my brain. So that's why you guys see me doing YouTube stuff. That's why you see me trying to make a push into this like self-employment, entrepreneurship and I'm gonna keep trying to do that. I kind of see my YouTube channel as just getting my foot in the door, just kind of like starting something and then over time I hope it develops into other things and I have a lot of ideas, a lot of things that I want to share with you guys. The main thing that kind of slows me down is just money. Trying to be smart with my financial decisions which I have not always been. Life is so much less stressful when you can pay your bills, when you don't have credit card debt, you know, when you're free to be able to do things mostly how you want. It's such a privilege, you know, a lot of us in the US have so much privilege in terms of money, in terms of class. So it's, it's important to remember that.
This card is really short. It's like a half. Definitely a lot harder than it looks. Basically, I fucked it up. <laughs> I tried. I will definitely be going to the barbershop next time. I just decided to do an undercut. Now this will all grow in, I have my curls, it's just an undercut. I always have to have runny yolks with my hard boiled eggs, this is mandatory. It's a beautiful Sunday morning out here. The sky is blue and I'm feeling so energized. I'm heading to the gym, gonna have a really nice workout. Then I'm gonna go check out the bean. I'm gonna roll these windows up because it's a little noisy out there. If you don't know what the bean is, I suggest you hop over to Google and type in the bean. Chicago and there you will find your answer now you might be thinking wait a minute Quincy you don't live in Chicago How would you get over there to see the bean? Well, they created an almost replica Slightly smaller version of Chicago's bean here in New York and I want to go find it today We're gonna hit the gym then we're gonna hit that but first I got to put in my retainer The only problem is I haven't been wearing it for like three months and my teeth are starting to space out again So this is gonna be extremely painful if anyone else wears retainers, you know exactly how I feel <laughs> Oh Oh, this cannot be good for my teeth. I'm definitely gonna need veneers when I'm like 50 years old. <laughs> oh my god. It feels like I'm breaking my teeth off. Oh! Not quite on all the way. Oh my god. Oh! It took me a second to find it, but I found it finally, and it's really cool. Looks like somebody defaced it with graffiti, so they're cleaning it up a little bit. They have to add some polish. Still pretty nice, and I love how they put it underneath this building. It's beautiful.
Hey, Quincy. This is your over loving grandma. Just calling all the way from Illinois to see how you're doing. So, uh, apparently you're doing fine because you're not even home. <laughs> you must be out. Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever you do in New York City on a Sunday night. Oh, well. Okay, honey. I just was thinking about you and uh, thought I'd give you a call. So, nothing special. Nothing special. Just, just to talk. So, hope you're okay, honey. I'm sure. I'm not sure, but I assume you probably are because you're. <laughs> okay, honey. I'll talk to you some other time. Okay, bye-bye. I'm not so love to you, honey. Bye-bye.